Welcome back, another episode. There are two main questions left unanswered before Criminal Records Season 1 conclusion begins. Who killed Adelaide Burroughs, and will they be apprehended so that Errol Mathis, who was wrongfully convicted, can be freed? Both of these topics are addressed in Episode 8, Carla, which viewers will appreciate. However, the conclusion of the criminal record, which wraps up the investigation with a controversial note, can be a little lackluster. The viral Hayes Lane 999 emergency call leak that sets the tone for Carla. As predicted, this increases public pressure on the Metropolitan Police Department since people think Errol Mathis was unfairly convicted of a crime he did not commit and sentenced to prison. June begs Daniel, assuring him that she did not release the audio recording. This most recent event has Daniel understandably alarmed, after all, his integrity and reputation are at stake. He and June fight about the case. June brings up Errol's coerced confession and his disregarded alibi, but Daniel is convinced that they followed protocol, had all the proof, and Errol is the murderer. June fears that Carla is in danger and that the real perpetrator is still at large. June is curious about what will occur if Daniel is mistaken. Daniel acknowledges that he has misgivings about his behavior on a daily basis. To demonstrate that Errol is telling the truth, the DCI consents to provide all case files. As he looks over the files, the detective sergeant starts to wonder about Daniel's intentions. June asks him on why he didn't question Clive and every other criminal that had been present in Errol's apartment. Daniel says those perpetrators were all found not guilty. Just as he is ready to present June with the list of names, he comes across a name that completely surprises him. Daniel takes the list and rushes out of the room. Daniel calls Kim in a panic once more over a specific name that was cleared. Kim claims that he questioned the subject's alibi during the questioning. Tony did another interview after discovering the alibi. It was Tony who brought up the topic. Tony, Daniel's old friend, is beginning to lose his trust. Daniel promptly makes his way to the subject's house. The individual in question is identified as Stefan Ash, one of Daniel's reliable informants. However, Stefan flees before they can meet Daniel. June and Daniel talk about their most recent suspect. Adelaide's apartment is among the places that Stefan rented out, so he is an ideal fit. He was free to come and go as he wanted. The crew looks into every one of Stefan's residences in the neighborhood in an effort to find Carla and the suspect. They examine every property and then choose to look at a floor that has been left unoccupied in the tower complex. When June discovers Stefan there, a brawl starts. Stefan begins to kill June by strangulation. In retaliation, she reaches for a nearby knife and tries to attack Stefan. June is about to slay the murderer when Daniel shows up. After that, Stefan is detained for his offenses. June discovers Carla and her infant concealed nearby. Intruders attack the police car as Stefan is being driven back to the police station for additional interrogation. Stefan is shot and killed in a drive-by. Daniel, too, suffers a setback. Daniel has been shot in the stomach and will be bleeding out when June gets there. In his garden shed, the cops discover other evidence in addition to Stefan's murder weapon. Adelaide Burroughs was killed, and Stefan Ash is the confirmed culprit. Errol gets released from prison after being informed about the arrest. Daniel pays a visit to his old friend Tony as the season comes to a close. For the death of Doris Mathis, Tony is considering charges of careless driving rather than murder. The accusations of trolling will also be dropped against him. Daniel queries Tony about his decision to exonerate Stefan, sparing him from additional scrutiny. Tony acknowledges that he was impressed by Stefan's work. He thinks Daniel was behind Stefan's demise. He shows Claudia the video of Errol making the forced confession. After all the chaos, Daniel is ready for a new beginning and is content to embrace whatever fate awaits him. But he assures June that he wasn't penalized for the coercion. When Errol and Patrick get back together, Patrick tells Errol that he's sorry for not believing in him. Errol receives a party from the local community. He and Patrick are spotted in the kitchen. June questions Errol about his confession. Errol claims that despite the recording's falsity, he had actually quarreled and battled with Adelaide in the past. As the show comes to a close, June is looking into this accusation. She hears the cartoon playing in the background while she listens to Patrick's tape. Patrick had paraphrased the cartoon's I'll knock you flat line. June thinks Daniel was aware of this and nevertheless used the tape to control Errol. Daniel smiles as he hears June wrap up her argument for the case. Then he ends the call. For the time being, it appears that he has gotten away with both his crimes in this deception. For more, subscribe.